Hello everybody, this is Tina from Tina's Crafty Life. How are you? I hope you are good. I am here to share a journal that will be added to the Zip It store after this video. It is made with material. It goes all the way around. You have a dangle with some charms and a key on the end. It is tied in the center. And let's get started in the inside, guys. When you first open it, it is material on this side. I have stitched around all the paper. This is an altered book journal, by the way. This is made out of a book. So when you first open it, it says this book belongs to, and I have it stitched around, and I have some witches. So you can put your name there or whoever you gift it to. And then when you open it up, the first page, stitched again, in a journaling spot. Then over on this side is hand stitch, got some lace going on the top. And you have a tuck spot here with some little tags. They look like this. And now let's just get tucked right in here. And then this flips open. And then on this side, there's a little tuck spot. And there's some little tags in here. I just basically put little tags in there so you can see that it's a tuck spot. You can use whatever you choose to put in that little tuck spot. It goes right there. And then this comes up. It is on a piece of ribbon going down. And you can flip it up and you can journal. You can also tuck whatever you choose in there. Oh, and let your picture just dangle. You can also put it in this tuck spot. Or you can put it back into this one. Whoops, my little tags came with it. That is however you choose to tuck it. Then over here in the center, this moves. And then when you move it to the side, there is a journaling spot here. Now, if you want to use this as a journaling on the back, you can. I have it so you can flip it and it's creased. So you can journal on this as well. And then you just flip it back over and turn it back this way. And then you close it. And the, oh, and then in the center of this one, there is a filing card. So you can journal here. You can tuck whatever you choose in the center. They're very sturdy because I I took pages out and I glued pages together. And it goes right in the center, like so. And it just I the tab you could keep the tabs out if you would like. I choose just to push them in. I made them so they could go in. And then the next page is a tuck spot right here, and it's just, I got the spider web with little spiders going on, stitched around the edge. You flip, you can journal. The next one is you lift this up, and it's permanent. You can put a picture there later on, whatever you choose, and you can journal. However you choose, and they get tucked back in. Like so. And then you flip this one over, and it's hand stitch again going around the edge. Got it, and it's hand stitch, or not hand stitch, sewing machine stitch. I keep saying hand stitch. Excuse me. Sewing machine stitch, I'm just going to say stitch. Stitch going along the edge. And it's got a tag. It's uh, distressed on the back. You just tuck right there. Over here, again, stitched on the edge, going on the edge of the pocket here. You pull this out. It's a filing card for, for journaling that gets tucked back in there. And then this is a little book for journaling. And it goes right there. Then also another pocket. You pull it out. There's a journaling card. And it gets slipped back in there. Or whatever you choose to hide. This side on this page, these come out. 
and that's what the picture looks like here. The corner tucks. You just put the paper back in or whatever you choose. Just slips into corners. Just bring this corner one up. You can find the edge and it slips right back into place. Here is that marker, book like, like a bookmarker I'm going to call it. It is hand stitched so this will never come off. It is stitched into the book as well as here. And it just can go here or anywhere in the book. Like back here, say this is a page you're on. You can move it there. Over on this side is this gentleman. It says Wicked, got a hand. And then have this spooky looking character guy. And you can use that as a journal card. And it's, it gets tucked. And then on this side is again stitched all the way around I did stitch this picture and it looks like that on the back and here I left this spot you can add a picture journal on it whatever you choose this side is some witches and I cut around them made them a corner tuck spot and it looks like that underneath and I have a tag for you and I believe this one yep is also another little tuck spot Looks like that. and then you flip and there's a journaling card some little girls dressed up as witches hands stitched or stitched going around again this gets tucked here this flips open here is a corner tuck right there journaling spot here's this again yeah hidden journal spot like I said in the previous video you just kind of flip it up smooth it over like so and you can journal here too and you flip it back down and it lays flat here's another tuck spot got a journaling card for you there that's what the inside looks like close this up and flip this is a tag I stitched going around the edge as well as the paper and it's a corner tuck and there's that wicked nurse. Over here is a pocket hand stitched on the edge as well as the pocket itself. Got a file folder card in there. Another one of those little books. And then a secret pocket spot. Again, journaling card. Here, this is hand stitched again. I just did the stitching on this one, and it's a drilling spot. The side I hand, I didn't stitch the edge on this one. I stitched the, the pocket as well as the coffin. And there's a tag. This has a little envelope. It's got some journaling cards in there for you. And get that tucks back in. This is a double tuck. There's a tuck spot here, and this tucks also. And we go here, journaling car spot. These come out, and then it just tucks in the corner again. And then it lays nice and flat. Work it a little bit. Most of the time they go in. Of course, when I'm on camera, it wants to mess with me. We all know how that is. There. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I tell you. Yeah, this is a stitch. I, I uh, took some a marker and I added some red spots on the skull. This skull is stitched all the way around. And this comes out. So it's a tuck spot and stitched here and stitched here. And then you got some journaling cards and tuck. Here's also a hidden pocket. You flip. And then here is another stitch going around. This is a tag. I stitch going around here. Here's some witches. Stitch going around. And that tucks. Over here stitch going around the edge as well as the image down here now this one's kind of cool this is one of my favorite ones I did in this book you bring these up 
They can dangle like this. It's a cough, it's a, it's a moth, the roses, or a coffin. You can journal on the back of them, tuck them back in the pocket, or tuck something else, and let these just dangle. And the book will close. You'll never know. You See? It's up to you. I have them tucked in a pocket for surprise for you. They all kind of there. I'll leave the butterfly or the moth dangle. And then another journaling spot. This one flips up. You can put something there. Hide a spot, a picture, and journal about it. So when they, whoever later on in life reads this, they're reading along. And then they can put a scary picture of you dressed up in a Halloween costume, whatever you choose. And then it tucks into the pocket below. So it all tucks down here. Like so. Got a belly band here. Again, once again, it's stitch going around. Stitched on the belly band itself, double stitched. So what I mean by double stitched, it means I stitched around here, and then I did the belly band, and then I re-stitched the belly band to the back paper. This baby is not going anywhere. Plus, it's glued. As well as on this paper, I glued it. And then it's glued down. And then I have the guy who's in the image in the coffin, and I have poison, poison, and he's stitched as well. And just a journaling card tucked in there. And then the next one, I believe this is a hidden spot. Yep, here's a hidden spot. There's another journaling card in there. And then you flip, and here is another journaling spot. Tuck pocket, little journaling card. Over here is a tuck spot there, as well as up here. Just a little bit, not a big lip on the top. Here's just a little book. So just see, just a little bit of tuck. Not very much on the top, but you can do it. Then you flip. And here is this piece. It is stitched going around the edge. This little emblem it says Shadu Tumbus Cemetery Camet Casket Number One. And then you flip open. It's a pocket, a corner pocket, journaling card. And then over here is another pocket, hand stitch going around as well. And a journaling card. That there was something else in there. There's not. There we go. Flip. This is another one of those swinging journaling spots. Like I said, you just flip up, smooth it on the edge. It's smooth now. And then there's a little journaling spot here, as well as a journaling card, because this is also a tuck spot. So there's a double there. And you fold it like so. Here's another journaling hidden spot. Pocket, hidden pocket, I guess you want to call them. They do slide in a little tight, but it does work. There's a lot of space in there, see? And then, oops, another journaling spot with a little tuck corner. You get the image of this guy and a witch sneaking out at you. I had it like this, so it looks like he's flying. Over here, again, hand stitched. Here, hand stitched, or you're not hand stitched, so. Stitched around. I don't know why I keep saying hand stitch. It's not hand stitch. That'd be like me doing it. I did this all by a sewing machine. Corner tuck spot again with a witch. Little same with a bird. There's that guy journaling cards. Like so. Then you turn this one over. It's another belly band. And this is the same way I did the first one. Really stitched on. Really good. And then... A coffin stitched around, a tag, this music like this. You can do on the back. You can journal actually on top of this one. Oops, the skeleton, the moth, and them are tucked right here. Back in there. 
like so. Here is a journaling tuck spot. Let me bring it up. These come out on this one. Like so. So you can put a picture or whatever you choose. And they just tuck in. That's my. There you go. And the last page is a journaling spot, an envelope, two journaling cards in it. And that tucks right there. Like so. In the back cover, I have this little one in here says created by Tina's Crafty Life. And then you close it up. And you tie it. So if you're interested in the price of this Halloween journal, it will be in a zip it store. And all the information is linked in the description box below. Thank you for taking the time and watching. Please go check out the price. As always, be happy, be kind, be safe, be funny, be crafty, and bye for now.